Hello and welcome to my video and today we're going to do a floral tag and using the wonderful flower power from Indigo Blue so one stamp makes a beautiful image okay so it's a simple colouring in and over stamping so let's get going okay I've already prepped my tag and given it a coat two coats in fact of a just so good white she's a good white okay so give it a nice nice matte color and a base to work on and then we're going to stamp using the stamping platform so as you can see that's the, I'm using the Tim Holtz to, from, from Tonic and I have already put my stamps on it in the right place so I line up my tag and just wedge it in place with the magnets. And I'm going to use Versafine to stamp it. So I cut my stamp and then press over the top. Okay, and that should give me my image. Okay, and just because it's a stamping mat, you can do it again. And what I will do is if I move that one out of the way, you get a better image. There we go, and one more time. And that will do for the minute. So I'm going to paint over it and then stamp over the top of that. So I'll take my stamp out, close up my stamping mat platform and remove it for the minute. And I'm going to heat set the ink so it doesn't smudge. You can see it's missed some around the centre here. For the painting purpose, it doesn't matter. I've got enough there to, just to give it some colour. And then we're going to over stamp it anyway. So I'll give, heat set that. So I think it shouldn't run. And then I'm going to start painting. And I'm using a number of paints. And I'm using the olive waistcoat. I'm going to be using snow white for the wings of the, the bees. Some of the flowers I'm using the uh, apricot blush. And I'm going to be using a little bit of burning bonfire. And I'm also using lemon meringue. I'm also using the portrait rouge. Beautiful pink colour. And I'm also using Sleeping Beauty. So a nice blue flower in the centre. Okay, because I'm using very little paint on here. I'm just using the little bits out of the top of the bar, the lids. So let's do the wings of the butterfly, uh, the bees first. And oh, it's a fairly dry mix, so I'm just going over the wings. Okay, and there's any excess. Kitchen towel. Okay, and a little bit mixed together for my bee. So my bumblebee is going to be orange yellow. And my other bee is going to be a bit more a little bit more yellow. Let's get a bit of stripes. So that's my bees, but you can see I'm going over the, the black lines. So we're going to have a little bit of foliage. So I pick up a little bit of paint. Then I can always put a little bit of water. And then paint it my foliage. So I've got some foliage, foliage at the bottom. Wet touch down, so it's dry off a little That's it. So I've got the foliage at the bottom. That's it, that one. And then I've got my 
or fern like foliage at the top. I'm using the same green paint because I think it will tie it in the top and the bottom. So I know I've got a little bit of leaf there. So let's put that around. That. Let's finish off. Again, this, I'm using an extremely simple technique of just basically throwing on paint because it's amazing what a difference over stamping makes. It makes a fantastic difference. There we go. First little bit of green. Okay, then we're going to use a little of this lovely apricot blush. And I'm going to paint these ones with apricot blush. And then I'm going to mix a little bit of that with the yellow. I've got a gorgeous colour and that's going to paint these ones in the background here. I'm going to use uh, the rouge. A little bit. So I've got a little bit of the orange and the rouge mixed together. It makes a gorgeous sort of deep peach colour. And I'm going to paint those. It's like translucent. So these flowers are going to be that colour. So it's not quite painted by numbers, but you just paint all three. And we've got some more of these down here. So this is Basically, the hard work of the of the tag being done is just very simple. Bring those in there. So I think those are all those ones, and they've got stamens. So the stamens are going to go. I'm going to put yellow, and these ones the top ones will kind of over here. <clears throat> I'm using the same colour again that I used uh, apricot blush. I'm going to paint these ones here. So balance the two together. So that's together. There we go. <clears throat> right, for the stamens, I'm going to use. The paint and the heat. So I'll just put little dots. There we go. The stamens. It's always a good way of keeping me quiet, it's, or anybody quiet, it's just a bit colouring in and a bit of painting. There we go. Am um, I going to do uh, our sunflower? So I'm going to have, <clears throat> there's like a marigold. So I'm going to actually going to make that more pink. I don't know that quite pink. I'm going to have a pinky one. And then I'm going to give it an orangey centre. So it's, okay, and just fill the colour. Tiny bit of orange to that. I just blend it in, so sort of dabbing it in, and it, the watercolour itself will just take out the paint to the edges. Dab that in, and we have a nice orange centre. So that's neat. Nice orange centre. Yeah. 
and then this focal flower I'm doing blue so I'm going to paint water all over just to get the blue to flow. I'm going to pick a little bit of this Sleeping Beauty mix it with a tiny bit of water and then I'm going to spread it out so I start in the centre like that and work it that bit and just move it through add brush so it's just wet just bleed that through and you get that nice soft look The next bit, I need to make sure that bit is dry in the middle because I want it yellow and not green. If I added, if I had uh, added my yellow centre, now it would turn green. There you go. So the outside is still. So keep that blended. So I'm just going to do that centre. And and the drama tag. And believe it or not, we're not that far finished. So it's nearly finished. So just want the, the, the time consuming bit, which is obviously just painting it in the colours. So it looks a bit of a mess at the moment. So I'll get these, I'll move these paints out of the way. Okay, I'll keep that one. I'll just clean this area off. <coughs> right, so I'm going to use a little bit. This is an ordinary sponge used for washing up. Obviously, I don't know. And then I'm just going to edge the edge of my tag with a beautiful, that lovely blue Sleeping Beauty. Just a frame. So I've kept the base of my tag white to give it a nice dark contrast with the colour of the flowers. Okay, so what we're going to do is clean that bit up, move those, and get my stamping platform back. There we go. So make sure all that paint is dry. So I'll give, give it a quick blast just to make sure. Bring the stamping platform back. And place tag in the position. And then re-ink so I'm inking my stamps. That's fun, and it's probably easy if you stand up and do this bit. If you get the pressure, so read that. Make sure that's in position, and press down quite firmly. And you can see the difference that's made. It just brings the tag out. Okay. And what we we'll do then? Let's put that away. Add. High, and that is the tag finished. So I'll just do that and tie it. And that is the tag done. And what I'll do is I'll give you what we did back. That's a floral tag. 
Okay. And thank you for watching.